I'm Mike Kinsley. I'm the artist du jour out here at uh, Hudson River Gallery. Tonight we're opening Child's Play, which is a lot of work that I did just before and during the pandemic. And I selected Child's Play as a title because painting is play to me. Uh, it is uh, a way of expressing myself that I didn't have access to previously. I started painting when I was 55 for no apparent reason other than good luck, I guess. And um, I've painted literally hundreds of paintings and drawings and sculptures since I started painting. So I have collectors all over the place, uh, coast to coast, um, who are lovers of bar what I call barbarian art, um, which is kind of the way children paint and uh, enjoy painting and art before they grow older and get ruined. I think Picasso said, all children are born artists, but eventually we ruin them or something like that. So uh, it's interesting to, to see that you can reverse that process uh, and as an adult, start doing something that is more like play and less like work. You know, artists always talk about their work. You know, I, here's my work and it's really, you know, let's face it, it's, it, if it's really work, then you're doing it wrong as far as I'm concerned. I, I like to tell people my, my art is happier than I am. I, I have a, you know, I'm kind of a quasi melancholic guy. So this, you know, the colors and everything allow me to express myself in a way that would be difficult otherwise. So sometimes I use the, um, the act of painting as a, a type of inexpensive therapy. Um, and that's particularly true when I do these really awkward, somewhat unattractive self-portraits, uh, which I sometimes do if I'm feeling like I'm a little down in the dumps or angry, I'll go out and make, make a fool of myself with uh, a self-portrait of the moment. And um, the, the really weird thing about it is I've inadvertently sold almost all of them. So apparently that appeals to a certain kind of uh, art collector just goofy, um, silly, sometimes kind of dark self-portraits. And one of the pieces, one of the pieces in the show is called Man with Ailing Black Cat. And I made that self-portrait when we were taking care of a very elderly cat that needed almost constant care, but was still failing. Um, so, uh, for whatever reason, I went out to the studio and made a very quick sketch that's really a self-portrait holding that black cat uh, named Pope Francis. And, uh, and that's, wh that's what I'll do from, you know, from time to time, is go out and kind of picture myself in the mood of the moment, which, again, is a type of play, but it also is, I find it therapeutic. A lot of us go through a day that feels pretty colorless and, and um, I find it very helpful to take an aggressive approach to moving paint around on the, on the canvas. Um, when I was doing some administrative work uh, a number of years ago, I, I like to say that painting kept me from killing all my colleagues. <laughs> which, which I think is partly true because uh, when I'm when I was having a really hard time at work, I I could go through five canvases a weekend uh, and come out feeling you know uh, not so hostile. Um, so for me, uh, working with forms and colors, particularly colors. Um, and uh, just seeing what happens, exploring different media, exploring um, just different 
approaches to each painting. Uh, uh, people have said in the past that when they've gone to one of my shows, they would come in and say, "Is so who are the other artists? Because I, I don't have a particular style or school of thought or thinking at all, actually. Uh, and um, one of the things that I kind of had fun with this time was I, uh, for my artist statement, I didn't write an artist statement. I made a childish painting, and um, which is kind of my take on the oblique, difficult to understand, incomprehensible artist statements that usually you see, or if you if you go to uh, art books or art magazines like Art Forum. You, you start to read it and you go, I have no idea what this person is saying or why they're saying it or how they can possibly know what they're saying. So um, I, I, I let the paintings speak for themselves and they're really sp speaking for me also. So we're calling it Child's Play and um, hopefully people get a kick out of it and maybe even decide to try to do the, a little bit of this kind of play themselves. So we'll see how it goes and um, uh, I'll keep playing. Do these glasses make my butt look big?